There are people dying. Oh, and it's time to lend a hand to life. The greatest gift of all. We can go on pretending day by day. That's someone. Somewhere we'll soon make a change. So they know that someone cares And their lives will be stronger and free As God has shown us By turning stone to bread So we all must lend a helping hand We are the world But if we just believe, there's nothing we can find. Well, 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 we realize that if changes can only come when we come together as one. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Welcome to 3C's Famous Person Class Museum. Today, here and now, you will have an opportunity to meet 28 famous people from all over the world and from American history. History. 
Mercury. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah. Yes. yes. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you will have an amazing opportunity to meet 28 famous people from all over the world who have made a great impact on American history. Thank you. Shannon Miller. My birthday is March 10th, and I was born in Rolla, Missouri in 1977. You may know me for my website to help people in fitness and health called the Shannon Miller Lifestyle, whose mission is to help women with from their wellness with fitness and in all cycles of their lives, such as pregnancy and motherhood, or my foundation dedicated to fight childhood obesity called the Shannon Miller Foundation. But most people know me because I'm a world famous Olympic gymnast. That's right, I'm an Olympian gymnast. I won 16 medals in total, but in the Olympics I won seven medals. I won three bronze medals, two silver medals, and two gold medals. When I was four, my legs were not growing properly. They were growing inward, so my physician recommended I should wear a brace. I wore it for six months, and my legs straightened out. I was also the tiniest U.S. athlete in any sport, yet earned more medals than any other American gymnast in the 1992 Olympic Games. <coughs> Bill of Health. Gymnastics has helped me so much how to be dedicated to something, how to work hard to achieve my goals, also to balance my life out. It also helped me in school too because it kept me organized and I'm always striving for a goal. If you want to learn more about me, come meet me at the gym and we'll start tumbling. Enjoy the show! Call me Daisy. My uncle Nick named me that when I was born, and they have called me that ever since. Anyhow, you may or may not know what I did, but I'm sure you've all seen these before. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I am the founder of Girl Scouts of America, and I did it in 1912. The Girl Scouts of America is an organization aimed at empowering girls by teaching them values such as courage, confidence, and compassion. We do this through anything from camping all the way to community service. It's actually fun because you get to earn cool badges and sell cookies with your friends. 
I made such a big impact on America that they named a Liberty ship after me and two schools. I even have my own stamp in my honor. I did a great job making my big dreams come true of becoming an independent woman and making a difference. So if you see Girl Scouts selling cookies, don't just pass by them. Buy cookies and make a difference. Thanks for listening. Follow me to my table to learn more about me. Now I've got some cookies to sell. Shirley Temple or Little Miss Miracles. I was born 